how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Hey, this is the Church of RNK. I'm Rosemary Nolly Knight, and I'm just kind of bringing you this affirmation. I was just kind of sitting here, thinking, writing, whatever, basically, and thought I'd invite you to the very quick party and hopefully leave you with this affirmation to go into your day. And it's all about the deliberate design of your life, the deliberate decision that you make to live a life that actually makes a difference to you first and then on to other people. Um, yeah, <laughs> really, that's it. <laughs> my life I will not show this responsibility I decide I decide to design my life I am Most of my favorite words in the world, deliberate, relentless decision, decide to design my life. And I suppose I want to encourage you to get very deliberate about this stuff, to get very committed to your own life, committed to the purpose that you feel bubbling up inside of you, committed to that desire to live to the fullness of you. I don't really have very much to say. It was just, I was just sitting here thinking about the deliberate design of a life, deliberate design of a life, the deliberate design of a life and how it takes relentlessness. It takes tenacity. It takes resilience because yes, for a long time, most of us have lived passively. I definitely live passively. Hello, Yasir, how are you doing? I definitely lived passively for a very long time, thinking that the way things were were the th way things always had to be. In fact, I wrote a post earlier about the fact that an okay life is not really okay. Not if you intend to go beyond, if you intend to actually make your life count for something more than just, okay, yes, I was born, I pay bills, and then I died. <laughs> Basically, if you want more, it's going to take deliberate decision. I commit to live the fullness of me, to design it deliberately, yes. With passionate tenacity, relentless dedication. I love that, Kayan. Absolutely love that. And it is a decision that we all have to make. It isn't something that just drops into our lap. It isn't something spirit can do for us. It isn't anything like that. It's like we have to make that decision. We have to make that decision that we are going to wake up. We are going to refuse to just continue to go along whatever path other people have designed for us or told us that that's all we have or we've convinced ourselves actually that that's all we can do or that's all we can have. There's a purpose, there's a calling, there's a reason that you're here and unless you decide to step into it, unless you decide to deliberately design your life, 
you don't get that big dream, but you could have the big idea. You could have the big dream. You could have everything that you desire. And lots of you have these big ideas, big ideas inside of you of what you're here to do. And maybe you feel a little bit confused at times, a little bit dragged along by the agendas of everybody around you. And you have lots of responsibilities. And I absolutely get that. And yet I call you, I call you back to you. I call you back to center. I call you back to remembering who you are born to be. Because once upon a time, you knew. You knew what you were here to do. You were sure. Like a child, you had this childlike faith that life was going to work out the way you intended it to. Then life came along with all its happenings. Life came along and kind of shook the confidence out of you. And now you're trying to remember again. There's this feeling of being stuck in a rut and being unable to escape. And I'm saying to you, honey, you can escape. You are more powerful than you realize. You are more powerful than you realize. Some of you are just waking up today. Please take these words into your day. You are more powerful than you realize. If you would just make that decision, that internal decision, that come what may, I will figure out a way to design the life that I know I'm on this planet to live. Then, honey, you will do it. Yes, confused at times, caught up in caring for others. Yes, like a child, I was sure. Then life shook me, but I remember it. I'm powerfully on my way. Yes, great. Remember again. This goes for everyone. Everybody remember. I'm just going to sing this again. My children are waiting for me to take them off to the park, which I will do in a second, but I just... Oh, I just needed this. <laughs> I decide, I decide to design my life. I will not show who's responsible to I decide, I decide to design my life I am deliberate I am relentless I decide, I decide to design my life I will not show to deliberately design my life I will not shirk this responsibility I am deliberate I am relentless I am tenacious I will hold on until I get to where I see my life is to be I will not quit I will not shirk this I will not wait for permission I choose today to start stepping on the narrow path to my destiny to my life share this at secret mermaid stuff thank you oh thank you honey thank you very much it is our life it is our decision to deliver to deliberately design life you have designed a life right now you get to choose a different version at any moment so you can start right now my daughter's come to say hey. <laughs> you deliberately design your life, okay? okay I'm going to leave that with you for right now. <laughs> Please do share it. And let me invite you, if you feel particularly uncertain, stuck, unsure, then... <laughs> Hello, little princess. <laughs> then decide. <laughs> yes, go to the park. <laughs> Go get the book, okay? I am giving away my free book at the moment. Oh, I'm giving away my book, which is free at the moment. It's a freedom book, okay? I'm all about freedom and entrepreneurship because I think entrepreneurship comes with a heck of a lot of freedom once you get it working. <laughs> so go and get the book, read the book, start to release yourself 
from some of the chains and bondages that you find yourself in right now. Bondages, is that even a word? I don't even know. It's completely free, so go and get it, okay? I decide, I decide to design my life. I will not share this responsibility. Okay? Until the next time, my honeys. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Fight for deliberately design the life you're born to live because you want to. Much love.